Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting Canada's altered, dead, return to life, head split records, and fucking kill records. Put this bad boy out. No sophomore slump for altered, dead. This is gross fucking death metal that sounds like it was recorded in some cosmic cave deep in the fucking multiverse. This is death metal for fans of putrid, rotten, classic sounding death metal. Everything about this is fucking top shelf just, it's great. Listen. So yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure fucking Kill is sold out of the LP, but I could be wrong. I will check and put links in the video description as always. But when it comes to Return to Life, if you are a fan of death metal, this has your name written all fucking over it. It's just one of those releases that I can't find a single thing wrong with. It, it's awesome. It really is. It's got riffs, I love the vocals, the drumming is organic and very, very just on the money. And for a duo, it's fucking great. You have M. Dion on guitar, bass, and vocals, and J. Rebel on drums and vocals. And the introduction keyboard was done and bell. Additional noise by Fingers of the Embalmer. Hailing from Canada, I mean, no matter what, you're going to get put up against this monster eventually. Because this and Gore Guts Considered Dead is like, you know, when it comes to Canadian death metal, those are like the fucking really, really sick ones. But then you have bands like Cathelist, and it's like, yo, <laughs> this is gnarly. And then, obviously, you have your whole war metal division up Ross Bay, Cultways, and beyond. Like, Profane Order. Wow. Canada and extreme music go together so fucking well. Like, I don't know what it is. I, I'm guessing it's that cold northern air. But... There's just something that, like even Tomb Mold. Tomb Mold would be the one band I would compare Altered Dead sound to, but I'm talking about 
like manners of infinite forms error to mold like that record and i would say the demos and the first album planetary clairvoyance nah this is a this is way better honestly than planetary clairvoyance just because i feel like planetary clairvoyance really should have just been an ep and the band should have just waited to do a, another full length but i went back and listened to it again and, and it's not as mediocre as I remember it. Like, I was listening to it, and I was like, this isn't that bad. But, when it comes to Altered Dead and their style of death metal and their sound, this is my... This is my shit. Like, it's just something I really enjoy when it comes to death metal, is a release that I can just sit back and not worry about like, ah man, this next song's coming up. No, this is just like, yo. Yeah. Do I need to say more here? Like, did a great job with the cassette cosmetics here just the i love the green shell it just fucking matches up with the fucking cover really well and this is just some gross canadian death metal that sounds like it was recorded like i said in a cave somewhere in outer space it's fucking awesome so, definitely check out Altered Dead. This is their sophomore release. Fucking Kill Records released this bad boy on 12 inches of 180 gram fucking wax. I'm sure this sounds absolutely amazing on vinyl, but it sounds great on cassette as well. I would grab a copy before Head Split sells out. So... Definitely, if you're a fan of death metal done the classic way with a Canadian edge to it. And that Canadian edge just goes back to, in my opinion, just, you know, Canada and death metal has always gone hand in hand in my lifetime. Like, even back in the mid-2000s, you had bands like Naraxis. Beneath the Massacre, um, Despised Icon even, I meant to say Discordance Access. I mean, not Discordance Access, eh, Ion Dissonance. There were a bunch of, like, technical, semi metal y type bands, or deathcore, whatever you want to call it. But, like, a band like Naraxis, they're just playing technical, brutal death metal. There's no, like, good cop, bad cop vocals or anything like that. Naraxis, to me, were one of those Canadian death metal bands that now I just feel nobody even remembers, talks about, or anything. But definitely the Quebec scene was more technical. And I always found that interesting. Because... Altered Dead hails from the West Coast, 
of Canada, where Quebec is kind of, you know, I think it's like right above Buffalo, New York. I'm trying to think of my geography off the top of my head. I'm sorry. But hailing from a completely different area of your country also has an effect on the way you sound. It's Toronto that's right next to Detroit. So, I'm sorry. I'm getting my Canadian cities confused. But Altered Dead with Returned to Life is just a modern death metal beast. This is one of those releases that you listen to and you're like, that's why I like death metal. Like, fucking A, that was sick. It's one of those records, like, all ten tracks on here, including the super sick Celtic Frost cover of In the Crypts of Rays. They, they do it justice, and they do it very fucking well. And, you know, I just have to say, heavy, heavy, heavy fucking hails to these two gentlemen that make up Altered Dead and wrote Returned to Life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Death Metal in 2021. Get into it. This might have dropped last year, not a hundred percent sure, but still. Headsplit did the release in 2021, so you know what? To me, this is death metal in 2021 right now like there's so many gnarly death metal releases we have the new cerebral rot dropping tomorrow it's getting crazy when it comes to releases and we have the new frenolith coming up on nuclear winter records there's a lot of shit coming not nuclear war now nuclear winter records out of greece dead congregation label but, Altered Dead, Returned to Life, nine original tracks and a Celtic Frost cover, killer fucking Canadian death metal. Like I was saying, if you like your death metal heavy, I hate this word, but cavernous and just fucking cool... Check out Altered Dead. Like, it's one of those releases that... Return to Life by Altered Dead. It's legit. One of those releases that you're gonna be listening to over and over and over again. And, yeah. Super fucking stoked on the cover art as well. Which is... Aw, oh, man. Oh, wait. Album cover painted by... Matt Sidney. Matt, holy fucking shit. I love this cover. I'm pretty sure the, the vinyl version is just like the entire cover art with no font. I'm not sure though. But I want to see this entire painting. Like, look at that fucking thing. It's just sick. And, uh, in space, no one can hear you scream. Get in the Altered Dead Returned to Life. Thank you, Disguster666 at Headsplit for throwing this in my package. Total fucking support. I appreciate it so much. This is a release I... Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to go over this. I thought, you know, it was only going to get an LP release. And then when I saw that Headsplit had it, I was like, oh, fuck. And... I ended up doing a trade for Torture Rack's Barbaric Persecution on cassette, which sold out already. But, um, yeah. Disguster threw in some extra tapes, and every single one of them I've been listening to, like, non-fucking-stop. From Nuclear Revenge to Zolger Noise, like... To Altered Dead. To Ischemic Necrosis. 
just a sick fucking bundle from Head Split. And it's just gonna get sicker when the new Morbific, Anthropophagus, and Phantasmagore drop on fucking cassette. Via Head Split Records. So, go check out this duo of Northern Death Metal Warriors. Altered Dead returned to life. Head Split Records, fucking Kill Records, and I forget who else. I think Meme More did the CD. Not 100% sure, but I'm 100% sure that I am an Altered Dead fan. Fuck yes, boys. And as always, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You fucking rule. I had, and I know it's not a lot in YouTube terms, but 22.5 thousand views last month total. Which, like I said, that's not a lot when it comes to YouTube terms, but for me, fuck yeah, like, that's a lot. And, um, we might be doing a Patreon page. So we can get more equipment, get more releases, and just get the channel a little bit better. Um, that's coming up, but in the meantime, we still have nine Accursed Womb t-shirts in yellow. And that's it. Done forever with that design on yellow. But I spent some time last night and the next five t-shirts that get sold and I know a, a buddy already snagged one, but yeah, you're getting some random mixtapes I made last night. You might have already gotten one with some of your orders, but these are very gnarly ones. And what I mean by that is every single one I legit took about... It took about four hours yesterday to put all these together. Like, just making it as like rare of compilations as I possibly could. No track lists, just, I just went through, like, Kill Town, Death Fest compilations, other, like, compilations I have, other mixtapes I have with, like, rare shit that, uh, like, you'll see. If you order a t-shirt, if next five t-shirts, you get a mixtape. So, just throwing that out there, and we are shipping internationally. So, listen to some Altered Dead, and buy some Accursed Womb merchandise. That'd be cool. Such a good fucking slab of death metal right there. And, like I said, as always, thanks for watching. I fucking love you, ladies and gentlemen. Hells. Mm.